Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today's video we are going to open up this package. This package is from England and I was intrigued by her video when she was talking about some inks and I had to try them out so I got them. This is from Colt Pens and they are a shop in England, I believe, overseas. Yes, United Kingdom, that's where they're from. So this took about a couple of weeks to get here and um, I guess it's pretty quick for an overseas package to the United States. I don't really buy that many things overseas so I can't really compare, but um, yes, I'm really excited. So let's get into it without further ado. Oh, and I'm also nervous because this is from England and it's supposed to be ink and it came in this bag. It came a long way and it's in the back. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first things first, this is what my package looks like. Um, I got a cute pink paper clip that almost matches the color of my nails. And again, this is from Cult Pens and they are cultpens.com forward slash smile. Oh, that's for the clips. Coltpens.com and you'll reach their website. So they included a little bag of gummies, which is making my mouth water right now. I'm going to set those aside until the end of the video. Okay, so it seems like everything is safe and sound in this uh, packaging. These are made out of plastic, so they did not spill either, which is great. And this one, which did not spill. So what did I get? I got the Diamine Iridescent Maureen in the large bottle, and then I got the Cold Pens Deep Dark Brown and the Little Bob Cold Pens. Now, I thought I got another iridescent color, so let me check my invoice. Oh, okay. So this is the other iridescent, but because I got it in the smaller bottle, they didn't put iridescent. Um, you could see like the little decor here on the packaging. It's on here too, but this is the other color. This is the red color that Aventure Denali also talked about, I believe. And I'm not much of a red person, but you know I love my blue, so I got a big bottle of the blue, smaller bottle of the red, and then the deep brown. So we are going to swatch these out, and I'm going to start with this one. So the bottle, or the box, is really pretty, and I do like to try and keep my bottles in the boxes, unless the boxes have completely like gone haywire and just look disgusting but I will be saving this box because it does have a little dent but it looks pretty decent and I really like these diamine boxes okay so let's start I'm excited I'm going to actually fill up my fountain pen this is from the Fountain Pen Revolution. This is one of uh, one of the pens um, made of, I think it's Evanite. And um, I also have a Ultra Flex nib on this pen. I got this probably a month ago. And one of the things I'm a little bit disappointed is that it started to leak. So I feel okay adding ink to this pen because it's one of those pens that wasn't really expensive and plus all my other pens have ink in them right now at least the ones that I write with on the daily so this one since it was leaking I cleaned it and it's pretty much the only one that's 
available to use. Plus, I want to see how it looks, this ink looks, with a flex nib. So I'm going to ink this one up. And this one has a lot of threads. I think what is causing the leakage is this really cheap converter. And I think I need to get a, another one to replace it so it won't leak again. So this bottle is made of glass. And I think this is the 80 mil. Yes, 80 mil. And it's really nice. It has some nice little embossed dots on the top and it's just a cute shape. I'm just giving it a little bit of a shake to make sure any particles that would be at the bottom is sub like completely um, even throughout and isn't settling on the bottom. And the rim as I'm looking at it has this pretty vibrant blue to it so I'm really excited. Okay, so dipping this in. Sucking up the ink. I'm not going to go back and forth because I'm afraid that this pen is going to leak on me again. So I don't want to waste. I want to waste as little as possible of this ink because I feel like it's going to be magical. So just one little slurp in the pen. Oops. All right, of course, always have to get ink on yourself. Otherwise, who are you if you are using fountain pens and don't ever get ink on you? Just gonna slightly put that in there just to make sure I close this up so I don't spill it. Okay, so keep this off to the side. Then these two, I think I'm gonna swatch them, use my dip pen. This dip pen I got as a gift from Italy. And I'm going to swatch these back pages. Okay. I know I'm supposed to be doing a video of all my inks, but I've been kind of conflicted because I'm not sure how I want to do it. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm willing to look at those down in the description box on how you think I should go about my ink swatching video so I can show you guys my inks and my ink collection. I don't have like an overwhelming amount of ink, but I do have quite a few. And I feel like putting all that ink in one video would be just so massive and would be very hard to watch. And I think also it would be very hard on me because I don't have that much memory uh, in my camera. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm thinking about doing a video per brand of ink that I have so you can see that and then maybe at the end just show you all the swatches and I was thinking for every video to show like me swatching um, because I don't have like a swatch card of all my inks so I really liked Aventure Denali's style of how she stores her inks because she has a pullout drawer I don't have a pull-out drawer, I just have a cabinet, so it's kind of hard for me to look at my inks top down without pulling them out. So I feel like having a swatch card of inks would be better. Um, I really like this color. So this is supposed to be like a maroon, deep maroon with hints of green to it. And I can see it as it's starting to dry, how the green is showing itself on the edges of my lines. So I think I said it was red, but it looks more maroon to me. And this color is called Little Bob. I 
I like it. It's very different from the colors I usually go to, my blues. And I've been trying to get some colors that are different. I have about 10 different blue shades of ink. I need to venture out. I have other colors, but I don't know. I feel like every time I think of like green, I don't really care for green. I don't care for orange. Yellow seems too light to write with. So I'm really left with like purples, blues, and pinks. And I feel like the pinks I've seen so far are also really light. So that's why I feel like I always go to a blue or a black. Okay, so this is the deep dark brown. Ooh, I love brown too. But I love the... I don't know if it's called the cooler tone. Would you call this a cool tone or a warm tone? I think it's a warm tone. There's a certain tone of browns that I really like, and then there's some that I really don't like. And it's kind of nerve-wracking to be able to tell from a computer screen, as with any type of color. With blues, I'm like, if it's blue or turquoise, I'm all for it. But if it's another shade of something in particular that I like, I always hesitate because I'm not sure I'm going to like it. But I like this brown. It's really rich and deep. And if you go onto the website, it has an explanation. These are a little bit special colors because they shade into something different. So this is the deep. Dark brown. And I feel like this ink is not a dry ink. I don't think it's a dry ink. I really like this brown. For those of you who may be wondering like, ugh, brown is such an ugly color. If you're writing on like bright white paper like this Tamoy notebook I have and you write with brown, it's easier on the eyes than writing with black. One of the reasons why I like it, and plus it's just a change, it's, I mean, depending on the brown you have, the browns almost act like black when they're really dark and rich and um, it's just really nice, in my opinion. Okay, so let's go into, let's see how this color looks. Yes, and it is leaking already on me. Oh, it's so disappointing. I screwed everything on really well. This is the diamine. And I'm going to flex the pen. Ooh, I really like it. Maureen. And I'm writing at a stupid angle, so everything's going to look off. So I think this has a really nice shade to it, but it's also supposed to have that same effect like this one does with the green and the deep maroon. I'm just not sure. I think it's supposed to be blue and red sheen. Um, as for the pen, it writes nicely. Oh, now I see it as it's starting to dry. That is so cool. Okay, so it's almost right now it looks purple and now that it's drying a little bit more I could see the red. But I couldn't see it at first so funny. For writing with this pen, it's a decent writer. It's not overly smooth and it doesn't have a lot of feedback. It's just right there in the middle. It's not like the perfect pen, but for the price and the capability to flex, it's 
pretty decent. I just gotta figure out a way to avoid it from leaking. Now that I know, I probably won't be taking this on the go, so I'm gonna have to find another pen to use this beautiful ink in. And I want a flex pen, but I don't want the flex pen price. This one was, I think, under $50. And of course, you pay for the quality of is what you pay, I guess. Is that how the saying goes? But it writes really nice and it writes really, really wet, which is always fun. So let me give you a close up. So the deep dark brown almost has a green tint to it and then same with the little bob it has a brighter green tint but it's there too but I really like the marine color I'm really happy with these colors in general I hope you guys found this video helpful if you have not heard of cult pens which I haven't until recently um, Definitely give them a, a look up. Consider getting a little bottle. They're not really that expensive. Diamine in general is not really an expensive brand either. So you can definitely get some at a reasonable price. And I'm not in focus. Sorry about that. I wish this video was a little bit more organized. But since I unboxed everything and everything's already out in front of me, I'm not going to redo the video. If you guys did find this video helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share the video. That is something also very useful for my channel if you were to share it. And don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!